Not even a month ago, I made a video about Mistral OCR that many of you liked. After that, a follower reached out with a problem they were having with an OCR chatbot. I figured this was a common issue, so I decided to make a new video to help them and other developers. When documents contain complex tables, mathematical formulas, or multi-column layouts, traditional OCR tools often generate messy content that ultimately needs to be manually sorted. Then, just last week, I was browsing GitHub and came across Baidu's newly open-sourced Paddle OCR VL 0.9 billion. I'll be honest, when I saw it had only 0.9 billion parameters, my first thought was, oh, another small model joining the fun? But out of professional curiosity, I had to ask, could this one actually deliver? What I found completely stunned me. This isn't OCR, it's a quantum leap in document understanding. Paddle OCR VL completely exceeded my expectations. It achieved the world's first place in comprehensive performance with a high score of 92.6 in the Global Authoritative Evaluation List, Omni Doc Bench V1.5. Its inference speed increased by 14.2% compared with Minor U, 2.5, and 253.01% compared with Dots.OCR. The most intuitive feeling I had was that it was very accurate, or too accurate. It is worthy of being the model that can reach the top and be ranked first. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. Today, I'll be putting Paddle OCR VL to the test on four key challenges, formula recognition, table recognition, reading order, and handwritten text. Let's start with formula recognition. I've uploaded an image containing complex mathematical formulas. As you can see, the model handles them exceptionally well, accurately interpreting superscripts, subscripts, and even very long intricate expressions. Next up is table recognition. This is a notoriously difficult problem, and there are many types of tables, sometimes with borders, sometimes without, and with many numbers, which are very easy for models to get wrong. I used Paddle OCRVL on several table examples and found its accuracy to be genuinely impressive. Another major challenge is understanding document structure and reading order. In modern documents, content is not only more complex, but also comes in highly varied layouts. Think multi-column designs, mixed text and images, folds, color printing, tilted scans, and handwritten annotations, all of which complicate OCR. The correct reading order isn't always a simple top to bottom, left to right flow. The Paddle OCR VL technical report demonstrates how the model can understand these complex structures, almost like a human. Whether it's an academic paper, a multi-column newspaper, or a technical report, it intelligently analyzes the layout and restores a reading order that matches human intuition. Finally, Paddle OCR VL remains extremely stable, even with more complex layouts. Take this handwritten note, for example. It combines text, numbers, paragraphs, and images in a layout with left, right, and top bottom columns that typically only a human could decipher. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the Paddle OCR VL is no longer just simple text recognition, but can really understand the document structure, whether it is an academic paper, a multi-column newspaper or a technical report. Paddle OCR VL can intelligently understand the document layout and automatically organize the content in the correct order. At the same time, it accurately extracts complex content information, such as tables, mathematical formulas, handwritten notes, chart data in documents. It converts them into structured data that can be directly used. In addition, it supports recognition of 109 languages covering multilingual scenarios such as Chinese, English, French, Japanese, Russian, Arabic, and Spanish, greatly improving the model's recognition and processing capabilities in multilingual documents. Paddle OCR VL consists of two parts, PPDoc Layout V2 and Paddle OCR VL 0.9B. Among them, the core part is Paddle OCR VL 0.9B, which integrates a pre-trained visual encoder 
with a dynamic resolution preprocessor, a two-layer MLP projector, and a pre-trained large language model. The preprocessing technology uses native dynamic high resolution. The visual encoder uses the Navit style encoder, which supports native resolution input. This design reduces hallucinations and improves the performance of the visual language model, Paddle OCRVL 0.9b. The projector efficiently connects the features of the visual encoder to the embedding space of the language model. In an autoregressive language model, the entire sequence is generated by predicting one token at a time. This means that the size of the decoder directly affects the overall inference latency, so smaller models decode faster. Let us now explore step by step and unravel the answer to creating a powerful reasoning app. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install. The next step is the usual one. We will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed and perform some basic configuration. Paddle OCR converts documents and images into structured AI friendly data like JSON and Markdown with industry leading accuracy powering AI applications. So I built this simple RAG system that combines Paddle OCR VL for text extraction with OpenAI for generating queries. Let me walk you through what I developed here. In the initialization, I set up the core components. I'm using Hugging Faces BGE embeddings for vector representations and GPT-40 as the chat model with zero temperature for consistent responses. I initialize placeholders for the vector store and QA chain that we'll build later. Now, for the extraction method, first, I tried using the Hugging Face Transformers version of Paddle OCR, which threw a weird error about image tokens not matching. Then, installing Paddle Paddle actually broke PyTorch, had to restart the runtime and reinstall everything in the right order. Then, I kept guessing at the API because the methods were deprecated and the new ones had different parameters. The real breakthrough came when I just printed out what the result object actually looked like. Turns out it's just a list with one dictionary inside, and that dictionary has a key called rec underscore text, which is literally just a list of all the text strings that were found in the image. So instead of trying to access some complex nested object structure with dot boxes dot text, I just needed to check if the result was a dictionary, grab the rec underscore text key, and extend my list with those strings. In build cup in DX, extract text from all images split the documents into 1000 character chunks with 200 character overlap using recursive character text splitter, create a face vector store with BGE embeddings and set up a retrieval QA chain that uses GPT-4.0 and retrieves the top three relevant chunks per query. For query, just pass the question to the QA chain, which handles retrieval and generation, returning the answer. In this era of rapidly advancing AI technology, we're often bombarded with hype about the most powerful ever and disruptive. However, truly valuable breakthroughs often come from innovations that solve specific problems and make technology easier to use. Paddle OCR VL may not make mainstream headlines, but for developers who need to process documents every day, it may be the long-awaited solution. After all, the best technologies are those that are quietly integrated into daily work, making you hardly aware of their existence. Paddle OCRVL is taking a solid step in this direction.